I would say to HIV, you think you've won, but you didn't. Now we're in a space where you know people are living, so HIV, you're not winning today. I learned about my HIV status uh, when I was 16 at the Howard University. They had a health fair there, and three random people asked me that I have taken an HIV test, and I took one and um, discovered that I was HIV positive from the, that point on. And I remember my guardian, uh, my, my mother died of AIDS complications. I remember my guardian telling me, don't tell anybody, keep it a secret, it could be our secret. And I just had this, this epiphany like, no, this is the reason why I'm finding out 16 years later because we kept it a secret for far too long. The physical concerns that, I've, that I had uh, pretty much was definitely around death. I remember um, just really thinking about who was going to get what when I died. My brother was going to get stuffed animals. Destiny's Child was going to sing at the funeral. And it was just, I really just had this wild imagination in terms of what everything would be like. Um, but then I kind of stopped it because I was like, I ain't going, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere <laughs> anytime soon after I did more research. I mean, at 16, when I, was, when I first learned of it, I, I didn't know uh, how long I should be able to, to wait without taking medication, so I just wanted to follow the recommendations of taking it now, which seems to be the message now, like start treatment earlier. The advice I would give someone who's newly diagnosed with HIV, I definitely uh, would say start treatment as soon as you can, because I think once um, your body gets to lower levels, it's really kind of hard to bring it, bring it back up. In terms of inflammation, we definitely want to make sure that, we're, that you are taking care of um, you know, your viral load and the, the copies amount of HIV in your system before it gets, you know, out of hand. I definitely understand the fear. I mean, I definitely have gone through it. I understand it pretty well. I also understand it from, from a standpoint of being off of treatment for a number of years and kind of like playing with the medications, so to speak, kind of like taking it. Um, you know, I'll, I'll take it five days a week, but I won't take it on a weekend. Kind of like, kind of playing with it that way. And um, that was basically basically off my own ignorance and not really understanding that these medications are keeping me alive and keeping me well. It's, it's so many tears to living well. Not only just physically, but you have to also have to have great emotional health. Who can you cry to? Who can you tell, you know, just let your, let your guard down with? Um, as far as the mental health, who can you talk to? about you know the struggles you have with HIV. You are alive and because you are alive you still have time, you still have um, the power to do what you still want to do and I think that when people uh, get, hear those, you know, those hear those words that you're positive, I think they just feel like they just give up hope and um, I think that is, if anything, that should inspire you to do more. What more can I do with my life? How can I live my best life? HIV treatment works. Get in care, stay in care, live well.